So come with me. So the uh, officer, she uh, goes off into another area, an area that only other Power Rangers have been in. And she emerges with the black case and the words prototype are printed on there. What is that, Professor? It's something oh. that can only be activated inside of one of our ships. There's an android in one of these ships. You need to go after the Alliance leader. You need to jump through time. Us? And you need to bring him back here. Yes, you. But we're just we're, cadets. But you're I, the Power Ranger. How will we know what to do? We're just... You'll know. When you get on the ship, you'll know. And there's something this box is going to help each of you. When you get on the ship, the android, I've activated it in the master hull of the ship. She's going to lead you. She's going to tell you what to do. Meanwhile, Somewhere. Officer Thomas is clutching the case. So what's in there, Jack? I don't know. Let's walk into the ship and find the main control hub and we'll find out together. I will right. get some food. I'm so hungry. So as you turn around, um, you are in one of the Time Force ships. You are just Time Force cadets. This is the first time you've been inside one of these. I thought it'd be years before we'd get with one of these. So why don't we just open that box now? Yep. All right. We're going to get with it. Let's check. You What's not, wrong? Do you need help, Jack? Uh. Were you supposed to put it in a thing? Do no. Does it have instructions? It's, uh. Is it locked? Because I've got a chrono saber. <laughs> It's locked. <laughs> Maybe that Android thing that she said that she activated in here can tell us something about yeah. it. Good idea, Eddie. Can we? Can you help me find it? Like, where is this thing? I, I look for the Android. Roll d six for me. Six. You kind of come up to a fork in the pathway, and right in front of you is kind of a central control room. And to the side, there is more of living quarters. And to the right, there's more of a med bay. And uh, you can t see if you keep going forward, there's a below that's more of an engine room area. Guys, I think I found like some interesting engine room area right over here. <laughs> well, if we're gonna activate this android, I think probably the central processing unit will, will be able to do something about that. All right, let's check it out. As you go into the central command area, everything is still like wrapped in plastic. There is a, a like a futuristic crate. It's designed uh, to be kind of covered with um, temporary materials. Like, you know, it's just safe packing and stuff. I'm gonna take off some of the wrapping Wait, wait, I want to do it. As you kind of uh, touch the packing material that's surrounding the crate, you see a light turn on and it blinks and it shines through. I do it. What through. is it? Wow. What do you see? It's just a blinking, it's a blinking light of some kind. I let, don't know. Let me check this out. So I go up to, to the blinking lights. Is there a control box with some No, buttons? it's like if you were looking at a package, but there's light shining through the package. It's something, it may be something inside. Can I open this? Sure. All right, I'm gonna do my, uh, I'm gonna just give it a nice snap kick. You're gonna <laughs> snap kick? <laughs> <laughs> I have plus one to tech. You do. Oh. I'm gonna but use that. But you're not. Maybe Vesper, sure. op Vesper operator tech through kicking it. Yes. yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Forcefully, I guess. <laughs> All right, so you come in and you want to uh, I investigate this technology yes. that's wrapped up in this packaging, and you decide to do your s snap kick? I do. <laughs> All right, roll 1d6. <laughs> Two. Two. <coughs> and I make it a super snap kick. <laughs> so it's a four. Yes. As you decide to snap kick right at the box, yes. the effectiveness of your kick is like a blade that is <laughs> cutting through cardboard. As your leg is going through, it's like an explosion of biodegradable packing peanuts. In the explosion, there is a humanoid robot, a little bit short. What the heck is that With a saucer-shaped head. Huh. I go up to it. Excuse me, robot? What is your name? <laughs> I am Alpha 55. The head on that thing looks like two walks put together. Alpha 55. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's an actual Alpha. I've read about these. Hey, Alpha 55, we have this, this black box. Can you help us open it? Wait a minute. 
Professor Scott's programmed this thing, right? Yeah. Yes, she activated me to help you on your mission. Ay, 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 ay. Wait, I just Alpha got 55. How do we open this box? Professor Scott's entrusted this to us and... We gotta catch that guy. And so uh, Alpha gets closer to the, the case and uh, approaches it kind of very intently. <laughs> And uh, you were right, Officer Thomas, there was a hologram required. And so Alpha forms a little hologram. It's an identification kind of 3D imagery. And then wow. the case is able uh, to open. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Oh. Oh. What is it? What's in what there, do you see? Um. I don't want to alarm you, huh? Huh? but it's Morphers. Oh! Oh! Oh, Dad, pass it around. <laughs> yes, these are your Morphers. Wow. Yes, you are the Power Rangers. <laughs>